Good morning and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodholt. As we continue to look this week before Christmas at prophecies of a Messiah from Isaiah, our passage today comes from Isaiah 11. And once again, it is about the coming of the Messiah, but even more about what this Messiah will do among us. Isaiah 11, 1 through 5 reads, A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist and faithfulness the belt around his loins. Like yesterday, there are parts of this passage that seem to garner the most attention. We've likely all heard sermons and thought about verse 3 and how it applies to Jesus. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. But maybe we need to look at the very next line too. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. To delight in something means it is deeply fulfilling. There's a deep sense of abiding joy and purpose and fulfillment and meaning. I think far too often we substitute momentary self-oriented pleasure and happiness and think that we have met this standard. But no, the Messiah will find real delight in following God. There's real delight and lasting significance to orienting oneself around God. And in the midst of a world that isn't doing that, this Messiah does and invites us into this new way of being. Perhaps that's a gift at Christmas we hadn't considered before. But there's something else here I think we often overlook too, right at the beginning. A shoot shall come out of the stump of Jesse, it says. And maybe we've thought that meant that the Messiah would be a descendant of David, like other scriptures prophesy. You see, Jesse was David's father, so that's just a poetic way to say that the Messiah will come from David's line. And indeed, Jesus does fulfill this. But I want us to consider the other part of that. That part about a shoot coming out of a stump. It's a powerful image. We often perceive stumps as lifeless, dead things. What once was a thriving tree has been cut down and all that remains is this dead stump. But the prophecy is that new life bursts forth from what looked to be dead. The image means that into a world that has come to a dead end in a lifeless, no hope, no future world. God brings about new life, new hope, and a new future. In our backyard, we have this bush that came up, we thought. We didn't plan it, but suddenly there was this thing out there where we would not have planted it. We cut it down several times with the loppers, and in the spring, Sure enough, it would grow right back. We stared at it, mystified. One year we just got busy and never got around to cutting it down, so it grew bigger. The next year was busy too, and one thing led to another, and before we knew it, there were a few years that we hadn't cut it down. We don't have a bush in our yard. It has grown into a tree. At this point, we'd need an axe and a stump grinder to get rid of it. My point is God's insistence on life. Right in my backyard, new life came from a dead stump repeatedly. And when we look around at our world, things may seem old and dead and going nowhere. Then God speaks. 
a feed trough with a baby in a stable in a small backwoods Bethlehem with a king who is doing everything he can to kill this child is a pretty dead stump. From there, the shoot bursts to life for us. Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.